Hello, um, welcome back to the Tesseract Gaming. Um, I'm joined again by Baker and James. Hi. Hello. Um, this time I'm playing Tau. Uh, they're playing Necrons as, as Baker, and James would be... Space oh, Marines again. Space Marines again. Oh, okay, fair enough. Anyway, we're on Fighting It's 3 standards, but we're on this map. This is a map that we usually fail miserably at. Um, you probably see why it's on point as well. Unless we do exceptionally good. It's unlikely. I think, I think for this map mainly we're just going to have to be aggressive and take as many of their points as possible. The, th the one advantage we have is that we're close together. Mm. Whereas they're not. Yeah. For example, this guy here, defense. or even this guy, we can take them out quite easily I think. And they will have very little support from their allies. Right, I'm immediately expanding out. I tend to find with Tau lots of stealth suits is a good idea. Maybe and the technology of Tau. Also, Fire Warriors are very good. But the thing about Tau is the crew, they complement each other very, very well. Crew take up the front melee extremely well, whilst the Tau have the yeah, out. Fire Warriors have a punishing rear line of firepower. Got a couple of scouts to deal with. Stealth suits have absolutely pathetic amounts of firepower. Yeah, don't use them to attack. Normally I just spread out with them. You can get some upgrades later that actually make them effective even against vehicles, but yeah, at the start you really just want to spread out. Yeah, I need By to just distract them at the moment, honestly. By sending troops against us, which they might lose. Unless they're successful, normally it just ends up as a kind of resource loss for them, because they're just wasting the shit they put into those units. The Space Marine player already has Space Marines. There are people already. Already, yeah. I've, I've managed to field two squads of Space Marines already, so... We're getting oh, yeah. they do, and Orcs. Oh god, you see, this is what happens with the AI. Shit, Orcs. Yeah. Space Marines. Not Space Marines. Uh, what am I saying? Necrons are shit against orcs in my experience. I don't know why. I honestly don't know why. They just end up being shocking against... It's just a thing, I find. Is there any way, um... Get some help over here, or...? Yep. Yeah, one sec. I'm just taking out these space marines. I've, I've just increased the attack of my, um... stealth suits. Because the only thing's not dead. They have lots of space marines. Don't know why they're going for me though. I am not exactly. Oh, don't die, I have cast builder. Alright, don't chase them. The problem is that the Tau Commander isn't exactly. The Tau Commander is good, but not unsupported. When he's in a big force, he can use that fucking disc thing that traps the units. That is ungodly good. The snare. Yeah, the snare. That is just ridiculous. Oh, I've realized why we do so badly. Well, at least I, I only have two strategic locations. No, same. And they have about four <laughs> each. Right. Expanding as fast as I can. I'm going to try and do that. I'm going to expand up onto the hill. I think if one of us grabs this, the other can grab this. Trying to capture a strategic point, I'm just increasing my resource income as much as is possible. Yeah, I'm trying to do that too. Okay, I've actually got quite a lot at the moment. Um. Oh, sorry. Just had a bit of a lapse there. Is that commander or fire teams? I'm not sure. It's all sort of stuck here, not doing much, and there's nothing really much I can do. Um, yeah, tower quite odd. I find they're good like mid-game, they're very good mid-game, very good late-game. They oh, can no. capture points... Oh, God. Great, just wasted some time. They capture points very quickly in the early game, but they can't defend themselves so well, I find. No, they can't. Well, they, don't, they can't even build turrets at any point, either. Yeah, if you take this one, with a stealth squad, that should be kind of, uh, that should be fine. 
Yeah, get up and take that. I don't know, I just think it's Fire Warriors out as quick as possible. Also, don't make the mistake I did. I think you can build, like, crew from the tower barracks. I can build crew from tower barracks. Yeah, I, I thought I had to wait until I had a crew barracks. The last game I played was Tau, so... <laughs> yeah. The W's for actually against the Orcs, especially. The space marines uh, are extremely miffed, because they want to be able to capture this strategic point, but they can't see the units which are capturing it. That is the big advantage of Tau. They just can't see me. Nope. I mean, they know I'm there. It's been archive time. I'm probably going to try and move and put some pressure on the space marines. We'll see how it goes. I'm not sure. I haven't got any mortals. I should get some flayed ones out, I guess. Flayed ones are fantastic. Holy shit. Everything builds so slowly. It does. This is, wow. Um, anyway, I'm going to start harassing them. This is going to be their base. No, I reckon it'll be fine. I reckon this is going to be fine. Yes. Right, the space marines are here, so I reckon... Well, okay, we're fighting against two space marines. Right. Right. If we keep them... Eye on everything. That is actually one other great thing, so, something to add to the Space Marine tactic, is to attach Skull Probes to most of your Space Marine units. They're pretty cheap. They increase the damage and range of your Space Marine's ranged weaponry, which means that their, all their jazz, like uh, Heavy Bolters, are going to be even more effective. And, uh, and, and you can upgrade Infiltrate as well, as well can't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Skull cro Probes um, detect infiltrated units. If you get the Skull Probe Infiltrate Research, then you can attach them to Scouts without the Scout Squad being revealed, which is useful. Just getting my crew to eat stuff. It's rather amusing, they can just eat the enemies and get stronger. Right, I need an awakened Monorith. <laughs> Monorith. Lol. No racism in this video, guys. What? You just said it in a funny manner. I don't... What? <laughs> that... Okay, that was only racist because you made it that way. Okay. Shit, did my lord die? No, my lord is doing nothing. The Space Marine Force Commander actually is very powerful. He is ex no, he's just got excessive amounts of health. He's quite expensive, though. If you can factor getting a Force Commander into your strategy somewhere, that's great. Also, I generally find the most effective manner to deal with with an opponent's commander is just another commander yourself. It is. It does tend to be. It's, it's the best way to lose the least units. And yeah. like a commander killing troop, like uh, Grey Knights, for example. Oh, yeah. Like Grey very Knights. powerful mass squads of unit of... Uh... Grey Knights are just ungodly, though. Well, yeah, exactly. That's the point. They, they take out gods, don't they? It's their job. Oh, yeah. Demons. Demon hunters. Fucking hell. You see, this is why I hate orcs. Just big mech teleporting in. Infil I see. Detecting my infiltrated units. Just, 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 you, have, you have infiltrated units? Well, no, but when I'm Eldar. Oh, okay. That's exactly what he does. Oh, no, yeah, that's a good point. That's what I use him for. Kill those turrets. Wait, do you need any help with anyone? I mean, I'm moving that way, but I don't need to. Do I? Anyone who can provide, like, building or turret killing assistance at the Space Marine base would be hugely appreciated. So, for example, me. Yeah, those fire warriors would be great. Uh, if you bring up these troops, you can take the relic. actually an honor to view, because I've just managed to lose a Grey Knight squad and my commander. 30 seconds. Jesus Christ. Okay, Ilzi's got vehicles out. That's great. Yep. I, tried I, don't have enough, I don't have enough to take the other Space Marine base yet. But with Tau reinforcements, it should be dandy. It's 
start building up some flayed ones in the meantime. Um, right, I can't see their turrets or anything. I need to be able to see them to attack them. Although my range is excessive, I just do still need yeah. to, to see it. I'd wait for James to move forward and clear the way first so you can stand back. Because Fire Warriors aren't the most enduring things, even though their range damage is ridiculous. Can you move your Fire Warriors up to help with the uh, Lord? Actually, he's nearly done. He is done. Right, the big problem is these turrets, which they've managed to build at the back. They're a real trouble to kill. General to them out there. I think my general tau strategy is kind of rushed for the vehicle, the vehicle thing, because then you can get sky rays, and sky rays are great. Right. Space Marines are more or less done. Can someone move your like uh, fire warriors further up to repel orc invasions from the north? Wait, do you right, reckon there will be? I'll take out the rest of it. Yeah, there will, because uh, orcs I think are up there. And then I'll take out the rest of the uh, Space Marine base. I'm not really going to be able to kill troops very much because I spent all of my heavy weapons allowance on... Ah, shit, there's more heavy bolters. I'll get my dreadnoughts there all right any second. Move your fire warriors back, they're going to get destroyed by the turrets. Yeah, I just, I just, I just heard them scream tactical retreat. Anyone cool the cavalry? I don't know, did we? Well, it's here. Wait, oh, okay. oh, the blade ones, oh god. Yeah. They I really, do, I, it I really is ones. an amazing, it's just, it is quite cheesy, but, jeez. Right, we're done here. That's the rest of their proper buildings. Well, Fortress Monterey in three, two, one. Yeah, there we go. Right, I'm going to move south. Actually, Miles, do you want that as strategic location to far south? Crew to here, and shall we um, engage? No, I'll be fine, honestly. I'm actually kind of good at the moment. Should we attack the Space Marines? Uh, we've got an Orc incursion All there. Right. Could someone defend them? I need to go back to my base and do some reinforcement, because I've got too many resources. No, yeah, I've got too many resources as well. I need to spend them. Miles, could you use your uh, Fire Warriors to kill those Orcs? Yeah, I can. At the moment, I... Work out what I'm doing. Oh, yeah. Did you get the um, fusion blast upgrade for your stealth suits? Yeah, I did. Yeah, it makes them great against um, buildings. You got that, Miles. Actually, I want to test something. No, they can't. Alright, whatever. Crew are actually surprisingly effective against buildings in melee. They do actually do damage. Jesus Christ, the fucking orcs! The fucking Big Mac. Is it just teleporting into your base? Is that the They're main thing? They're just teleporting into my base and I didn't realise that most of my buildings are gone. Be fine, your Necrons. Coming back from the dead and all that. I got a fourth commander and Grey Knights who can help you. Uh, yeah. Now yep. the big mechs running away and I've got late ones, you know. Can't ex do I actually have any builders left? I think they. Okay, I do have some builders left, that's good. Not yep. got many. Forte Emperor. Forte Emperor. Cool, my granite's are mobile. Is this the Emperor? Is this the Emperor? Not the Emperor. Yeah, true, true. No, not four the Emperor. Five the Emperor. <laughs> Five is larger than four. Slash logic. Squad limits reach. Whatever. Building Skyrim missile gunships. They're great. Also, in the path to enlightenment, you can research a um, 
this missile, missile barrage, barrage. Got it's, it. it's great, it's great. Incredible. You watching the demise of the Space Marine HQ? Yeah, I'm sort of like part of it. Nice. I know. Oh, uh, no, wasn't that a different one? Oh, yeah, yeah. sorry, it's fruit. Yeah, uh, two sorry. Space Marine ones. Also, those stealth suits of the Fusion Blasters do a surprising amount against vehicles. Will they defeated? Orcs next. It is indeed Orcs next. Not a lottery, I'd sure they'd be appreciative that they're a part of. Understood. Right, Chaplin. We'll get one Chaplin, and we'll get. Get, I'm going to get food talks as soon as I can. Ooh, Sky Missile Gunship. They're doing attack moves because I'm lazy. How's the building going? For the greater good. Just activated the energy shield. I just read right. I just Yeah, the great nice. They just literally went straight across the battlefield. Find me a squad to use psychic inquisition on. Alright, I'm gonna Big get on oh, the next one. Brilliant to anti against with Okay that dreadnought dead. Can you move up on this flank. Take out the war tracks, they are very effective against vehicles. Although we don't have that many vehicles luckily. I mean he's already killed my two dreadnoughts, I think, so. I'd save the missile barrage ability for a group of infantry, by the way. I have. I'm not using it yet. Okay, I'm using all the bombardment. Bombardment. Okay, I'm actually, I'm actually dividing my, like, forces. I'm having to control... Two fronts. Two fronts, yes. It's extremely hard to do. Redundant dreadnought. Yep, I'm on that. Please. Does anyone need power? Nah, I'm good. Fade one's in. Yeah, could you set me some power actually? Because that's what, uh, just like 200? Uh, I'll give you 400. Uh, fine. Duh, oh, the ability, it just looks so good. And if you use it on a group of infantry, they just go flying. Deep Strat just... Terminators. Yeah, oh, my, I my no idea where it's picked. Yeah, stealth okay. warriors now have should have a crazy amount of damage potential. <laughs> Look at my DPS of that on those Terminators. They are the most beautiful things to use. You said that those are mortals, they're like the highest DPS here. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> and yeah. So that's how you beat three standards, even when you're in a much, much worse position than they are. Indeed. And it is much worse, because you can just get shot at from all angles. And a race, in your case, you basically never played. No, never played until now. Anyway, 18 minutes, 37 seconds. That's not bad. Could do worse, yeah. We've been beat, we have been we got beaten by Harders, but it did take them 40 minutes. Yeah. I think the record was that we did was a 2v2. Two, v two, two nine on, minutes. Um, no, but we did 2v2 two two and the first standard fell at oh, six minutes. Yeah. The yeah, game in point. the end was about nine minutes. I think general strategy for Tau is at the start, your stealth suits can capture a lot. Uh, Mid-game, use Fire Warriors and Crute as a combination. Crute can engage lots of ranged units in melee, and then your Fire Warriors can just pick them off. Now, the sky rays are really good, and generally, I guess it's your choice whether you go with like crisis or uh, crew. I tend to find crew are better because crew talks are fucking godly. Yeah, that's what I went for as well. I went for crew talks. Well, I didn't actually manage to get there, but I had researched everything. It was already all prepped. They got like 10k health. No, 6k, 6k, 6k health and a crazy amount of damage. Yeah, like 500 DPS and melee and ranged. And they're, they're demon armor as well, so they're good against everything. 
But I just got um the advanced metallurgy and stuff for the um fire warriors, which massively increases the damage and health. Yeah, people tend to forget the um effectiveness of upgrades. They are great. Anyway, this has been Tesseract Gaming. I hope you enjoyed. Liked if you liked it. Like it even if you didn't. Just go for it anyway. Anyway, um, see you next time. Hope you enjoyed. I've been Red. Yeah, I'm Baker. Goodbye. I'm James. Thank you. Yeah.